Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. Today we're doing the um, recap from the September 16th The Zone card that was headlined by William Zapata versus Mercito Gesta in a lightweight uh, showdown. Um, now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel up here. Um, we're just going to talk about the Zapata Gesta fight. It was a good, a good, uh, you know, um, matchup of of uh, JoJo Diaz beaters. I mean, both these guys in consecutive fights got had victories over Joseph JoJo Diaz, the former junior lightweight champion of the world. Um, Zapata beat him last year by a convincing uh, unanimous decision, and then. Uh, I guess they got by him earlier this year with a split decision. And this was a good opponent for uh, Zapata to come in here and continue to build himself, you know, because he's a golden boy guy. Um, he's undefeated, throws a lot of punches, any punches with power. So he's not a guy that people are lining up to fight, um, you know, at, but he's, but, but him and Gesta are in the most loaded division in boxing, in my opinion, lightweight. And, um, Zapata sitting there in the number one ranked contender. So to quote unquote stay busy, you take a guy, a veteran fighter who's fought for titles twice in his career, and he's coming off of an upset victory over a former champion, Diaz, is a good matchup. And, um, you know, uh, Zapata went there and took care of business. He just threw a ton of punches, but he landed so crisp and clean. I mean, the way he was getting around Gesta's guard, because Gesta had a, a high right hand, the way he was just punching around that that glove that was protecting his face and landing on him anyways, it was just a wear down, beat down. Gesta took some good shots. He also landed some good shots. Zapata is hittable. That's what I noticed in this one. He is, he's definitely hittable, but you got to try to keep him off of you because the dude throws over 100 punches around. So it was an impressive performance. Six round TKO for Zapata as he broke down the veteran Gesta. Gesta wasn't a top 10 guy coming in. Um, he's not going to be a top 10 guy going out. Um, you know, I, he, he, he was a, he's at best a gatekeeper, um, but he's up there. I think he's 35 now. Um, you know, I think it's time to start contemplating retirement. You know, doesn't say he, I'm not saying he has to do it now, but you know, definitely after that, you, you know, you're not on that level anymore. And, um, it's time to consider it before you start taking too many shot, unnecessary shots. And um, I think that's where Gesta is to decide that in his career. But nothing to hang his head about. He can go out saying he beat Jojo Diaz in his last year. And then he took a shot at a top 10 guy, a guy ranked number one in the world. And, excuse me, and just lost to a very good fighter. Zapata will definitely do a what's next video on him next week. Um, and, uh, you know, break down what he could be doing next. But uh, a good, solid performance out of Zapata as he continues to build and push forward towards an eventual title shot. Remember, he's number one in the WBA, and Gervonta Tank Davis is the regular champ, and Devin Haney's the super champ. So maybe within the next calendar year, we could see Zapata fighting on that high level or at least fighting for a title if nobody else wants to fight him. But again, We'll discuss all that on his What's Next video next week. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my DAZN recap from Saturday, September 16th. That was headlined by William Zapata versus Mercito Gesta in a lightweight showdown. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth. Yeah, you've been hit with the truth.